Video projectors apply simple spherical apertures and suffer from a relatively short focal depth. This is problematic when images are projected onto non-planar surfaces, such as in case of spherical or cylindrical projection displays. They might be regionally defocused if the aperture of the projector is too large. Using smaller apertures for increasing the focal depth, however, decreases the light throughput. Several approaches exist that increase projected focal depth digitally by convolving the projected images with the inverse blur function. In frequency domain, the reciprocal of the filter kernel is its inverse, and deconvolution reduces to a division. The Gaussian point spread function of regular spherical apertures, however, sets clear limitations. Low magnitudes in the Fourier transform of the aperture image, however, lead to intensity values in spatial domain that exceed the displayable range. Therefore, the corresponding frequencies are not considered, which then results in visible ringing artifacts in the final projection. Here, the Fourier magnitudes that are too low are clipped. Applying only small kernel scales will reduce the number of low Fourier magnitudes, and consequently the ringing artifacts, but will also lead only to minor focus improvements. To overcome this problem, we apply a coded aperture, where the Fourier transform initially has fewer low magnitudes. Consequently, more frequencies are retained and more image details are reconstructed. We apply a momentum-preserving principle for measuring the local defocus of the projector on a non-trivial surface via structured light projection. This leads to relative defocus values for each projector pixel, which are normalized to a discrete number of, in our case 15, aperture scales, whereby the smallest defocus pixel is assumed to be optically focused and correlates to scale 0. The original image, as well as the 15 scaled aperture images, are Fourier transformed. Deconvolution is carried out for all scales in frequency domain, and the results are transformed back to spatial domain. A final compensation image is composed on a per pixel basis from all 15 results depending on each pixel's measured defocus. All operations, Fourier transformations, deconvolution, and composition are carried out in the GPU and require less than three seconds. Currently, we are not only working on a faster implementation to reach real-time compensation rates, but also on the investigation of optimized code patterns.